Today's Business English Demo lesson is all about meetings. We're going to cover prepositions, phrases, phrasal verbs, vocabulary, and expressions you can use. We're also going to cover the homework so you can have an idea of what to expect if you enroll in this course. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and find out more. Hey, I'm Michael with Michael's Business English. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Michael Vincon, a former six-figure data analyst turned ESL instructor and career coach. I help non-native English speakers like you with your work life and career increase your value. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about communications, business English, and career development. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like and subscribe, and all the links mentioned in this video can be found in the description box below. All right, so today's business English lesson is about business meetings. The objectives for today's lesson include to use common vocabulary used during different stages of a business meeting, such as your introductions, reviewing past business or meeting notes, and discussing items and finishing the meeting. We're also going to introduce common phrasal verbs used in business meetings, such as run out of or reach out. And we're also going to introduce common expressions used in meetings. All right, so for this slide, I wanna practice prepositions. So here, what I'd like you to do is take uh, the following dialogue and see if you can put in the correct preposition. And you've got some examples here. You got of, to, in, for, at, and I want you to practice, right? So here's the first dialogue. If we are all here, let's get started. First, blank all. I would like blank. Please join me, blank, welcoming Brian Jones, our regional sales manager. So for these blanks, which preposition do we need? First, blank all. Is it first of all? First to all? First in all? Right? If you're not familiar with prepositions, this is a good time to go back to level one to level two, A1 to B2 English lessons and start getting practice with the beginner to intermediate levels. The reason we do these exercises is to make sure like you are at the level you're supposed to be because a lot of students get to get to the depression of like they're uh, fluent in English. They have like advanced English and they find out they have all these gaps in knowledge. They had no idea because they never had to learn prepositions. All right, for this section, what I'd like you to do is to guess the meaning of the expressions in bold. Now, don't worry, we're actually going to cover those definitions in a few minutes. But the goal of this exercise is to learn to derive meaning from context because you're going to have situations where people will say words or phrases that may not be clear. They may use words you may have never heard before. So it's important to understand what they're saying, how to derive meaning, what they're, what they're trying to get across, what's the point they're trying to make. So here's one example. Meeting chairman says, let's get started. We're here today to discuss ways to improve online sales. First, let's run through the report from the last meeting, which took place on May 24th. Brian, can you take over? Can you tell me the meaning? Can you guess the meanings? What do you think it means? What does run through mean? What do you think took place means? What is being take over means based on the context, based on the conversation that's going on here? Let's go to the next slide real quick. How about this one? Thank you, Brian. So if there's nothing else we need to discuss, let's move on to today's agenda. Have you received a copy of today's agenda? The first item on the agenda is online sales. Tom has kindly agreed to give us a report on this matter. Again, I'd like you to try and derive the meaning from this word, right? So what does move on mean based on the sentence? So if there's nothing else to, we need to discuss, let's move on. Let's look at one more example. Uh, John, to be honest, I haven't yet mastered online sales and only devote about 10% of my time reaching out to potential customers online. Susan, I'm on the same page as John. I'd love to learn more about what we can do to increase our online presence. What do you think reaching out means based on the sentence? What about? All right, so for this one, I'd like you to match the phrasal verb 
with its meaning. So the first one is run through or go over something. Does that mean distribute or separate into groups? Does that mean progress? Does that mean take control over something from another person? Or does that mean discuss, read, or repeat something briefly? So run through, if you remember from the previous slides that we walked over, run through in context typically means to discuss something briefly in the context that we use. Right? It can be discussed, read, or repeat. So that's one example. What about take over? Does take over mean distribute or separate into groups? Does that mean progress? Does that mean take control of something from another group, another person? And it can't be it can't be discussed. We already talked about that one. So if you remember, take over meant for someone to take over the agenda, right? So you remember from the previous slides that the meeting chairman asked Brian to take over uh, the meeting. So in this case, take over means take control of something from another person. All right, what about move on? So move on can either be distribute or separate into groups or progress. What do you think it means based off what you know about the words? Right, if you don't remember the slides, you don't remember what we talked about, uh, we can just talk about the words we have, right? So what does move mean? Right, does move mean distribute? separate or progress see how i did that you can derive meaning from vocabulary from phrases by taking one of the words and trying to find out what that means on its own if you don't remember some of those phrases so same thing with breakup so break separate they're very close in nature is that right so you can find the meaning of vocabulary just by looking at the words in a phrase. All right, so for this example, I'd like you to go through and take the beginning with its ending, match the expression that it begins with with its ending. So for example, if everyone could take, um, it'd be in welcoming our guests with a quick update on the project to welcome you to our office for two more people will begin shortly or a seat, I would like to begin. Which one does this make sense? If everyone could do what? If everyone could take in, if everyone could take with, if everyone could take two, if everyone could take four, everyone could take a. See how I'm doing that? I'm focusing on the prepositions and the words, the verbs that are in front of the first word that you see. So if everyone could take a seat, I would like to begin. That's one of the. That's one example. How about this one? It's my pleasure to what? It's my pleasure in welcoming our guests. It's my pleasure with a quick update. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our office. It's my pleasure to. It's my pleasure for two more people. Right? Which one makes more sense? It's my pleasure to. Is the common expression that we use. Right. All right, so let's conclude this demo lesson by going over the homework so you have an idea of what to expect if you enroll with Lessons with Michael's Business English. So the first section is to read each question and select the best answer based on the choices provided. It's a multiple choice question. So which multi-word verb means to discuss or repeat something? Is it to go over something, to take over, to move on, or to break up? So we actually covered some of this. So go back through the video and see which one we talked about, but if you don't remember, if you can't find it, what I would suggest to you to do is to look at the words, go over something, take over, move on, break up, and see what which of these words is close in meaning to the verb discuss or repeat something, right? If you're still struggling, then by all means go on Google or go back to the lesson summary, because remember, the mind learns through repetition. You will improve your English faster if you go and practice this, because there's no shame in not having, it's better to go and do the work to get the right answer than to make a guess and get it wrong, because the goal of this is not to pass or fail. The goal is to get better at communicating. 
So how about this one? Which multi-word verb means to progress? Is it move on, to take over, to run through something, or to break up? So remember what I said, like which one is very close to meaning to, to, to the word progress? Is it move on, is it move, is it take, is it run through, is it break up? And remember, feel free to go look on Google to find the answer, go back to the, the uh, summary. So here's the second section. Um, answer the questions in full sentences. Have you ever been the chairperson of a meeting? Which qualities must a good chairperson exhibit and why? So I don't think we covered this in the demo lesson. It's about the, the word chairperson, right? So I'll tell you that answer. A chairperson is basically the, the meeting runner, the leader, the person who leads a meeting. So this is an opportunity for you to um, get creative and tell us what you're thinking and we can see how your writing is in English and we can give you some feedback on that. And the final thing is another free form writing exercise. Run through the following quote. If you had to identify in one word the reason why the human race has not achieved and never will achieve its full potential, that word would be meetings. Do you agree with the quote above? Explain why you agree or disagree using the vocabulary from the lesson. Remember to go back through the lesson summary so you can go back and review the vocabulary we've talked about. All right, thanks guys. I appreciate you sticking around watching this. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, check out the description box below for more information how to enroll with lessons with Michael's Business English. All right, thank you. Talk soon.